I decided to do this project for Carrion, otherwise known as Leonie Campbell, because I could remember way back in around 2019, she came by the church one night and she said to me, Miss Lily, you can't help me build one house because um, she's a mother of six children and she really needed a home. So I said, I'll try and see if I can help you. But I didn't see the means then. Then I was chosen as Supreme Venture, one of Supreme Venture's foundation hero. And there was Grant and I decided, well, since Carrie Ann had wanted the help for the house and she really needed someone to help, so I decided to work along with this project. And today I'm extremely proud because here she is receiving a two-room house, that which she can expand on in the near future. So I have known Minister Thompson for many, many years, even before I became her pastor. And it's really a thrill and a joy to meet this woman of God and a woman in the community who have devoted herself to help people in whatever area he's able to do so. And I'm really proud of her. And as a part of our membership, I'm really happy to know that she had taken on this role to be a help in the community. All those who worked alongside, the church members who worked alongside with this project, everybody was enthused and excited. And it gives me a sense of joy to see that in a community, we can still do work to help those who are needy. Um, we might not be able to do all that we want to do, but we are grateful that there are still persons who are willing to reach out to those who are in need. Ms. Thompson, she's done a great job. I feel so proud of her doing this for my daughter. If it wasn't the help, I don't know how it would be. I'm thankful of her to make Carrie Ann get a new home. Thanks very much. To all my fellow Jamaicans, I want to say to you, Supreme Ventures Foundation has been doing a great job and I am encouraging you to come be a part as they seek to help others who are less fortunate in our communities. We can build a better Jamaica if we work together. We are so excited to be here at what is actually our second handover for the Supreme Ventures Heroes program. We have joined Miss T in her community. She's obviously well known to everybody for a long period of time by several different names. We've heard Minister. We've heard Miss Lily, we've heard all kinds of things. So it's clear that a lot of people in the community know her and know her well. And they're not really surprised about the fact that she has managed to pull this project together and give Carrie a home. The Supreme Ventures Foundation is so excited that the Supreme Heroes program has reached this point. We have invested significantly in the development and expansion and growth of this first group of heroes. And we are so looking forward to the next batch if this is what has come from our first endeavor, we cannot wait to see what our Jamaican heroes do next. <laughs>